Well, good afternoon. A very warm welcome here to a sunny start of the men's individual time trial to decide the HSBC UK British Cycling Men's Elite Champion. We've already presented uh, three jerseys so far today. We've uh, recently seen a great performance by Charlie Tanfield to win the men's under-23 title. We've also seen Hannah Barnes take the women's title. And now it's about the men. So... This is the map of the day. The riders will be racing out of Kirkley Hall. This uh, lovely setting for today's individual time trial. They make their way up to the top of the circuit. It's 11.1 kilometres in length. The men will cover this on three different occasions before they race back the three kilometres run in to the finish at Kirkley Hall to decide who will be the national champion. 39.7 kilometres of racing for the men. And that 6.4 kilometer run in uh, there and back will decide who takes this title. So the commissaires making their way onto the start ramp uh, to get the first rider down the ramp. And we've got some uh, big name riders who will be taken to the start line this afternoon ready for this individual time trial. So welcome to the 2018 National Road Championships, HSBC UK National Road Championships time trial discipline. We've had two of our races so far, the women's and the under 23 men's. We're going to be moving on to the senior men's competition road. Something to line up. The riders are getting the bikes checked by the commissaire team, the race referee team. First rider off, David Griffiths. The first rider on the start ramp then, and this is a rider from Bio Racer Project Go. This is David Griffiths. So he will start this individual time trial. We have got three intermediate time splits along the way to keep us updated on exactly what is happening on today's course. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Uh, we've had loads of messages throughout the live streams. Don't forget that uh, during the next uh, couple of days, we've got the national titles of Great Britain happening on Sunday. We'll have a live stream of that in the afternoon from 1500 British time through three hours to the end. It will also be live on ITV4 and live on Eurosports. First rider, David Griffiths of Bio Racer Project Go, is now underway. So as he makes his way out of the starting area, that little speed bump, if you've not been watching uh, over the last few hours, tucks his way into the aero tuck. Down the ramp, David Griffiths of Bio Race Project Go, out on a course, followed motorbike, and now heading out as well. And this is where they head out. Nice little run out of the Kirkley Hall. Then they turn left onto the main road. It's split there on the out and back section. Each of the riders have a commissaire with them. As we turn our attention to a rider from Transition Race Team, Philip Jones is the second rider to take to the start. Most of the riders at one minute intervals. Uh, but when we get to the last few riders, the last uh, 10 riders, will be at two-minute intervals. Philip Jones then underway for the transition race team. Almost as implies, but more importantly, Stephen Cummings of Team Dimension Data is a non-starter. He's not making it to the... Makes his way then out of the transition area through the finish line for the first time and then will set himself up for the left-hander out of Kirkley Hall. So he makes his way out of Kirkley Hall, turns left there at the bottom of the circuit, and then he will make his way on the run into the first turn. So the first big-name rider to go is Jonathan Dibbon of Team Sky. 
He's now rolled down the start ramp. Jonathan Dibbon uh, comes from Southampton and gets into the Aero Tuck. He was a world champion of the points race. Silver medalist in the team pursuit as well. 24 years of age now, riding for Team Sky. He's already had one victory for Team Sky. Settling himself down into the aero tuck position. So he won his world title in 2016 in London. He's won a couple of European uh, titles as well. Dibbon is a very, very good time trialist. Lives down in uh, Monarch, uh, down in uh, Nice. Turns left through that little narrow section. Got to be a little bit careful there. As we see the next rider on the start ramp, a rider who made his name in the Commonwealth Games, John Archibald. Let's hope he doesn't crash like he did in the Commonwealth Games time trial. Won a medal on the track and Archibald into the aero tuck. Archibald, the brother of Katie Archibald, the Olympic champion. And out on the course here with uh, Johnny Dibbon, a very, very good uh, time trial. It's Jonathan Dibbon into the Aero Tuck, winner of stage six of the Tour of California in 2017. Actually finished ninth in the World Road Race Championships at under 23 level and won the mountains classification at the Triptyque de Mondo Chateau in 2016. As a world-level time trialist, he was sixth in the World Championships at under-23 level, so he has got a good pedigree as a time trialist. The next rider's about to get underway. This is Jacob Tipper of Memel CCN Pro Cycling. Jacob Tipper. Immediately into the aero tuck, the sleek skin suit, the disc wheel, the deep section carbon fibre wheels, being used to very good effect. Wearing number 41... Jonathan Dibbon looking very strong, just churning that gear over. Good concentration from this rider. You can see the absolutely sleek bike that he's riding with the flat aero bars cutting their way through the air. Team Sky with the very, very best equipment to ride. Dibbon really on top of that gear now, just keeping it churning over. Real good concentration. Back to the start, and this is Thomas Watley of Paceline Racing Team. This, uh, this rider is a very, very good time trialist domestically. Powerful rider. We've already heard from uh, some of the riders that uh, this is built for a power rider. But we've seen... Uh, Different types of riders win the title so far. Charlie Tanfield is certainly a very powerful time trialist. Hannah Barnes, a good time trialist, but a very, very good road rider. Dibbon, keeping that nose nice and low, really concentrating hard, using the teardrop helmet, not the long-tailed uh, helmet, so he's able to duck his head a little bit, and it doesn't uh, cost him too much energy. Sky here with some very good riders. Turning our attention back to the Madison Genesis rider, and this is Connor Swift from Yorkshire, the cousin of Ben Swift, Ben Swift of UAE Team Emirates. Look, Connor into that sleek position. Turned professional with Madison Genesis. He was noticed uh, riding for one of the smaller domestic teams. But Connor Swift is a very good time trialist riding for this Madison Genesis team, guided by Colin Sturgis, the former 5,000 metre world pursuit champion. George Wood of Richardson's Trek, another good domestic team. And the fans in the background enjoying seeing these riders up on the start ramp. Getting a lot closer to some of the uh, top names than uh, they ever would at any of the, the big tours. The start then of George Wood of Richardson's Trek. So our riders away, remember one minute gaps between the runs. 
gives you a quick indicator if you're heading out to... Uh, well, for some of the domestic base riders, it's their chance to race and pitch themselves against uh, some of the bigger names. Cycles to the cafe, it takes you across. You just see the truck out past the farmhouse of you to be looking across the barriers. Next rider from the Zero BC, and this is Paul Elcock back out on the course as we join up now with John Archibald looking uh, very powerful again a nice form as he keeps his left hand tucked over the right hand to slice through the air really good on the track John Archibald keeping that nose very very low and keeping those knees you can see the knees coming right up behind the elbows Paul Elcock of uh, Zero BC is underway. Well, it's difficult to work out how fast you need to ride to win this uh, individual time trial. So certainly around about the 50 kilometre an hour mark is the sort of level we're looking at as Archibald goes to the right hand side of the road close roads for this individual time trial he's certainly looking sleek and fast isn't he unfortunately we didn't get to see Katie Archibald uh, ride this individual time trial for women earlier on today and we wish her all the best with her recovery from injury John Archibald looking good out on this course not rocking at all just keeping the pace nice and high. Turning our attention back, this is Will Bjergfeldt for Team Tour 2000 Kalas. Will Bjergfeldt, who is known in Great Britain as the Iceberg, had a very, very bad crash a year or so ago, and it's good to see him back in competition. It's been a hard fight back for him. Archibald looking nice and sleek keeping the pace high isn't he nice long aero socks a lovely study of time trialing here this Ribble team another emerging domestic team from Great Britain there's lots of uh, teams at the continental level and just below them and they're getting more and more uh, guidance and uh, structure which is great to see and they get lots of coverage as well turning our attention back then to Chris Lawless of Team Sky and Lawless rolls it down the start ramp to get started this rider could do something in this time trial he's a very very good sprinter well next to our Team Sky riders away and that is Chris Lawless, Chris Lawless immediately into this time trial it'll have gone through the normal Team Sky warm-up as we turn our attention back now to another new team Team KTM UK and this is Andrew Turner about to roll down the start ramp clicks his way into the pedals three intermediate time splits this afternoon so we will get a chance to uh, find out how the riders are performing out there on the course. We'll also be able to pitch them against uh, the women and the under 23 riders that we saw earlier on today. The start then for Andrew Turner of Team KTM UK. Out on the course then, as we take a look at the next rider. And this looks like uh, Jacob Tipper coming through for the Memel CCN Pro Cycling Team. As he goes up flying past. Nice aero, sleek look from him. You can see just how rolling this course is. It's definitely not flat. And the start of the next rider from the Morvello Basso Racing Team should be Ken Buckley rolling down the start ramp. All that in mind, trying to focus has come down from that start ramp. 
the road to make his way down out from Cooper Hall, out on to the course. The sun are just easing a bit as it goes slightly lower in the sky. Nicely into the arrow tuck immediately. Lots of the tarmac melting out on the course. The riders reporting that they could hear the tarmac squelching underneath their wheels. Uh, hopefully they're all going to get around safely. Uh, great course so far from Moton. Some fantastically... And the start of the next rider. And this is Ross Fawcett of Pedal Power Cycles Ipswich. And the next rider coming up from uh, Pace Line goes past the camera again we mentioned earlier on a very good domestic uh, time trialist ross Fawcett of pedal power cycles ipswich is now underway and that wind is certainly starting to pick up a little bit it's a tailwind down this finishing area and the next rider up there on the start ramp, riding for North Overs VT, Dean Robson. On the big screen coming live from the start ramp, and then out on the course will be following selected riders on the way And we join up now with Connor Swift. Connor Swift into that aero tuck. The team, of course, uh, as we mentioned, of Colin Sturgis previously. Roger Hammond was the team manager. He set that team up. But there's Northover's uh, VT rider about to roll down the ramp and get underway. Some of these domestic riders have never rolled down a start ramp like this. So there's been a few wobbles here or there. But uh, mostly everyone has been OK. Great uh, chance for them to ride against all these uh, top pro names and who says they won't beat them we've had some surprises connor swift with the aero bottle in there madison genesis have a big setup not far from my commentary position they're all set for the weekend and certainly a team uh, who will try and take the road race in particular to uh, the rest of the riders they don't fear anyone they will certainly look to try and bring the title home uh, that Genesis time trial bike looking good. And Connor Swift looking very, very low indeed. The start of the next rider from Ribble Cycling, David Hewitt. And David Hewitt getting started. Again, tucking those hands over each other. Choosing to hold the aero bars in a as aerodynamic way as he possibly can out here with connor swift he's rolling along isn't he we're going to start to get some uh, intermediate time splits soon but swift is keeping that frontal area so tucked in lovely style he's working so hard right now right on top of the gear rolling it over nicely in a huge gear as well and certainly his form is looking superb the head lower than the shoulders almost Danny Greaves of GS Metro about to get started a local rider as he goes into the aero tuck So number 29, Danny Greaves is underway. Danny Greaves, GS Metro, and that slick skin that suits trying to minimise the weaknesses of the drone on the body. Well, Connor Swift certainly is looking metronomic right now as he starts to catch the rider in front of him, and that is uh, Thomas Watley of Paceline Racing Team. So Swift is already picking up riders. And that rider from pace line, as we've mentioned, a very good domestic time trial is back with Ashley Cox now of the Flam Rouge cycling team. Takes you along the link road heading up to the top. 
The start of Ashley Cox. Not long until we get the first of our intermediate time splits then. We're getting very close to that where the riders complete their first lap. The number 28 then, Ashley Cox, Flam Rouge cycling team, spinning his way out of the start area. Well, a well-known team now about to uh, have their rider up here on the start ramp, the Cardiff, Cardiff Ajax CC, Ian Smallwood. Just having a chat with the person holding him up. A long aero helmet on today, just looking a little bit uh, less straight than he would like. So this is all about man and machine against the elements. No wind really to tell. It's picking up just a little now, but it hasn't been uh, too strong all day. But this circular circuit will test some of the riders who domestically tend to race on relatively uh, straight out and back courses rather than on a circuit like this. Ryan Morley about to start for the Royal Air Force. Royal Air Force have always had a good reputation for having uh, strong time trialists in their club and this rider about to get going in the colours of the Royal Air Force. Down the start ramp to get underway, riding against some of the top named bike riders in the world who will come towards the end of this field, including Alex uh, Dowsett, Geraint Thomas will take to the start ahead of the Tour de France. To the elite runs with the elite riders coming an extra lap of the circuit as we see the Royal Air Force rider heading out there. That's Ryan Morley. Ryan Morley into his individual time trial. For those of you just joining us now, three laps of 11.1 kilometers and a run out of just over 3k and run back of 3k. Aberdeen Wheelers, Jamie Davidson is the next rider to go just asking the starter to move him a little bit so he's nice and straight to go down that ramp it's very very narrow Ask for another move to the left hand side the last five second countdown then before he gets underway Jamie Davidson of Aberdeen Wheelers, one of the Scottish time trialists. Looking nice and comfortable as he pedals out. Again, all these riders will have warmed up on the rollers or the turbo trainer. Been walking around and seeing uh, many of them concentrating hard out here on the course then. We'll see who we're going to pick up. A couple of riders very close to each other. It looks like... Uh, the Team Sky Rider is here and making his way out on the course. That looks like it's Chris Lawless. And we're going to join up with Chris Lawless out on the motorbike. Here's the current time splits then. John, the, Jonathan Dibbon of Team Sky is the leader for, through the first split. 18 minutes, 20.55 for Jonathan Dibbon. Next rider just goes, Jack Reese of Ribble Cycling. Second place at the moment through the split, Philip Jones of Transition Race Team and David Griffiths of Bioracer Project Go is in third place. But Jonathan Dibbon of Team Sky, one minute and five seconds ahead of his nearest challenger out at the intermediate time split. John Archibald now goes to the top of the leaderboard by 1.4 seconds. John Archibald, 18 minutes, 19.07. So the rider that we know from the Commonwealth Games is looking good. He puts Dibbon down 1.4 seconds. Archibald now the fastest rider on the course.
as we make our way up to Chris Lawless and Lawless has already caught the rider in front of him he's gone past uh, rider number 36 Will Bergfeldt Bergfeldt is fighting back but he has got to drop back a few meters Lawless visibly faster Lawless in national championships has had uh, very very good performances national junior road race champion national under 23 road race champion and so far for team sky he's already had some victories with two stage victories in copia bartoli an individual win and a team time trial win as well but birdfeld is unable to go with this pace of chris lawless look at the speed as he goes past disappearing Will Bjergfeldt, well known in British races, as we see Team B38 underpin racing's uh, Andrew Nichols get started. Thank you very much for joining us. If you'd like to join me on Twitter, at Ant McCrossan is where you can send messages or message at uh, the live stream and we will uh, try and answer some of your questions on Facebook but thanks for joining us for the live stream of today's racing next rider about to take to the start this is Gruff Lewis of Ribble Cycling Gruff Lewis from Wales strong rider well known domestically has ridden for a number of the top domestic teams Gruff Lewis about to get started. Down the start ramp then for Gruff Lewis of the team of Ribble Cycling. We're in number 21. John Archibald still the leader, 18 minutes 19 zero seven. My apologies, that last rider to go was uh, the rider from Team KTM, Jason Bootle. The next rider to go will be Team Novo Nordis, Sam Brand. And then we've got Graf Lewis, couldn't see him underneath that uh, British cycling marquee there. So Sam Brand about to get going, comes from the Isle of Man. We're in number 20. One of the riders from Novo Nordisk who rides with diabetes and monitors his blood sugar levels as he races. So an inspirational rider. In the Commonwealth Games, he had the names of uh, a lot of diabetes uh, patients who had asked for their names to be put on his uh, shoes, and he carried them around the Commonwealth Games course. John Archibald still at the top. Jonathan Dibbon second. Connor Swift now in third place, 19.9 seconds down. And that's at the first of our intermediate time splits, which comes up at around about 14 uh, kilometers but Archibald looking good right the start of Gruff Lewis we'll uh, introduce him again here he is riding for uh, Ribble wearing number 19 and about to get started for Gruff Lewis there he goes very well known indeed here in Great Britain as a good attacking rider and a very good time trialist settles himself down into the aero tuck. So Lewis down and through the country, heading out on course. Next up, Theo Gagan Hart. The next rider to go then will be uh, one of the well known Team Sky riders. He's already seen his girlfriend Hannah Barnes take a national title. This is Theo Gagan Hart. He was a silver medalist at under 23 in 2016, as we see more riders out here on the course. We've already seen Chris Lawless. And a few spectators now out at various points around the course. Theo Gagan Hart about to get underway. 
Rolls down the ramp. A superb bike rider, Teo Gegenhart. Hannah has already taken that national title. He tweeted just a little while ago to congratulate her. And out on the course now, still the top three, Archibald, Dibbon and Swift. It's Connor Swift, not Ben Swift, who are the top three riders through the first intermediate time split. Spent a lot of time practicing in that position and not just in terms of being able to sit there, but it's about sitting in that position, producing the maximum power they can get. In the most Next rider then is Ben Hetherington of Memel CCN Pro Cycling. Produces the power of some little six year old kid. You need to be producing world class power and have a world. -class He's about to roll down the start ramp. Carol Lee will give him the last instructions. Carol's birthday today, spending it here at a bike race, which is not unusual for her. She's one of the key commissaires in Great Britain and lovely to see her here on her birthday. So the man with the is Hetherington, okay. Hetherington underway. A real high cadence there from Bennett's go so through, using a slightly low gear to get up to speed quicker. And you've got the uh, low to the late speed to do it. Thanks very much for all the messages and thanks for all the Welsh uh, pronunciations. Griff Lewis then, as opposed to Gruff Lewis. Hopefully we'll get it right. There we go. So, these riders are out on the course. And just going past the camera. And it looks like uh, a couple of riders already being caught here. And that does look like Griff Lewis who has just gone past the camera as we go back to the start then and this is Michael Cumming of the Madison Genesis team very strong rider he used to ride uh, for the JLT Condor team moved to Madison Genesis just settles himself down into the aero tuck still out on the course John Archibald is the fastest rider Just adjusting his shoes, Rupert Graham of Spirit to Fosi Racing Team. Coming up uh, in the next few riders, we'll start to bring some of the big names, including Garrett Thomas, who will take to the race start. We put Graham of Spirit Tafosi into the Aero Tuck. So next the run Wearing number 15. 15 Rupert Graham of the Spirit and he will settle himself down and try and uh, get the speed as high as possible. Those flags moving a little bit more. Out on the course, here we go. Chris Lawless has just gone through the split with a deficit of 10 seconds on the time of John Archibald. So Archibald so far today is looking really strong. Top of the leaderboard after the first split. Dibbon second by 1.4 seconds. Then Swift, then Lawless. So the big name riders there. And it won't be long until we see the likes of Teo Gegenhart reach that sort of point. And we'll get an indication of how these riders are doing. The next rider about to start is Simon Wilson of Ribble Cycling. The culmination of four days of cycling, part of the Cyclone Festival. And Cyclone Festival will continue tomorrow with the Tyner Bridges Ride still registered all the way Nicely through the finishing area. Today, then, just to remind you, three laps of this 11 kilometer course. A number of the pros will be out on the road race circuit tomorrow, no doubt during the day. And back here with uh, the next rider from Team KTM. This is Andrew Disley. Don't forget for more news and updates, you can go to britishcycling.org.uk. We'll also have live coverage of the men's elite road race here on Sunday and as live highlights of the women's race as well. 
of some of the narrow points. So we'll see who gets the titles. If you want to go back and watch the time trials from earlier on today, that's possible. Just click on them here on Facebook. They are recorded for posterity, and you'll be able to see the uh, titles of the women's and also the under-23 men, and in, within the women's, the under-23 women as well. Thanks to all of you for watching. If you want to message us, thank you for doing so here on Facebook. If you want to join us on Twitter, at Ant McCrossney is where you can do so. And it doesn't matter whether you want to tell me to pronounce something differently or you want to get involved in the discussion, then please do. Loads of you watching the racing. And thank you very much for doing so on this beautiful day here in Great Britain as we decide who the national champions are. More riders making their way along this rolling course. Still, John Archibald is the leader at the first intermediate time split. So a little bit of a gap because uh, Daniel Whitehouse, who was supposed to be starting next, is not taken to the race start. So our next rider will be Richard Taylor. And he will be up on the start ramp shortly. In fact, here he is. So Richard Taylor of the Harry Middleton Cycling Club. Clicks himself into the pedals. And those asking uh, what time uh, Alex Dowsett is off. He goes at 17.53 UK time. So not long now. 19 minutes until Dowsett starts. He will be the last rider to go because Steve Cummings is not defending his title. He was down to ride, but he has still uh, been struggling with that breathing problem, so Cummings will not take to the race start. Dowsett will be the last to go at 17.53. Richard Taylor gets started for the Harry Middleton Cycling Club. A couple of you asking, why is the women's road race not live? Well, basically, we are live on ITV4, live on Eurosport, and live here on Facebook with the national championships on Sunday. The women's race starts very early in the morning. Let's just here have a look. Archibald, Dibbon, Swift and Lawler, still the top four at the intermediate time split. And therefore, uh, the coverage will be recorded of the women's and played in a three-hour window which goes live on Eurosport on ITV4 and here on Facebook as well. Thank you to all of you for watching as we take a look here. Dibbon has just gone through the second time split. And he's done that in 32 minutes 46. So that's the standard now for everyone else to beat out on the course. Getting close to the end of the next lap is uh, John Archibald. Archibald setting the standard so far. But uh, you've really got to test yourself over the three laps as opposed to just going flat out at the beginning. Very easy to get this wrong in this uh, individual time trial this afternoon. Next rider to start then, Edmund Bradbury of JLT Condor. Another very good time trialist. Archibald still the leader at that first split. In fact, uh, Archibald... He's now gone through the second split with the fastest time. He's 18 seconds now ahead of Jonathan Dibbon. As we see Edmund Bradbury get underway. So looking at the split times, looks like Archibald and Dibbon through that second split at the moment. The difference between them, well, looks like Archibald going through in 32 minutes 28, 32.46 for Dibbon. And the moment Phil Jones... Out on the course then, Archibald is still the fastest rider. So John Archibald of Ripple Cycling, 18 seconds ahead of Jonathan Dibbon at the second intermediate time split. Still the fastest rider at the first split as well.
And the next rider going through the camera with this uh, time trial. Heading on down the road. Ribble Cycling, next rider to start. Now, this is an interesting rider. Much is expected of him. He's one of the best time trialists in Great Britain without any shadow of a doubt. Daniel Bigham, riding for Ribble Cycling, puts the visor on the helmet. Superb time trialist. Let's see how he does this afternoon up against this competition. Bit of a specialist in uh, aerodynamics. Only a few riders left to start now. Bigham underway for Ribble Cycling. So the fastest rider out on the course is John Archibald. Second is Jonathan Dibbon. Bigham into that aero tuck immediately, wearing number nine this afternoon. Here's confirmation of the current standings out on the course. Archibald in 32 minutes, 28-3-4-4. At the second split, Dibbon, 18 seconds down. And then behind them, Philip Jones, David Griffiths, and also... Uh, Coming towards the split will be the early riders we looked at, Connor Swift, etc. They're not far away from that second split now. So we have a little bit, um, well, we shouldn't have a uh, gap here. We should have uh, Ryan Perry of Drag 2-0 taking his time to get himself up the steps. Well, I thought Ryan Perry was going to go immediately. Uh, oh, he is. He's going to be the next rider to go. So he's got a two-minute interval. Taking his time to get himself up there on the start ramp. Ryan Perry of Drag 2-0. Twice a bronze medalist in 2015 and in 2016. So a rider who could well figure on the podium later on today. As we go back out on the course now. Uh, picking up on Sam Brand. So Sam Brand here catches Will Bjergfeldt. And we see Sam Brand just in front for Novo Nordisk. Riding for the team that all, every single one of the riders has uh, diabetes. Back to the start line with uh, Ryan Perry. Can he put himself on the podium yet again? Drag20.com is his team. A team that have done lots with aerodynamics. Drag20, the brand of Simon Smart, who's an aerodynamics specialist, came from Formula One into cycling to try and make bike riders quicker. And that he has certainly done. Here we are with Will Bjergfeldt who's trying to fight hard to stay with uh, any rider who catches him. But he's been caught by quite a few now. So the iceberg sliding backwards in these uh, standings right now as we see Sam Brand looking pretty good, wearing number 20. Still no change in the overall standings at the second split, although Connor Swift has now, now gone through there. Swift, uh, 33 minutes, 27, so he's 41 seconds down on Archibald, but he's in third place for Madison Genesis. Will Bjergfeldt in a huge gear, fighting hard. Sam Brand just can't, just glancing over his shoulder to make sure it was safe for him to move to the right-hand side of the road. Sorry about that, a little bit of picture break-up out there on the course, but the next two riders don't take to the start, so we have a bit of a gap now. So Mark Christian of Aqua Blue Sport choosing not to take to the start line. Also Scott Davis of Dimension Data also not starting, which is a little bit of a shame. But here's the update on the current standings out there on the course, so all of you can digest them a little bit. We'll leave them up for a moment. John Archibald of Ribble Cycling, 32-28-344. Dibbon second, 32-46-760. So he's lost 18 seconds. Then Connor Swift, we've just seen George Wood there, immediately move into fourth place in a time split. He's 122 down. 
So George Wood producing a good ride. But Archibald, without doubt, is the rider to watch out on the course at this moment in time. Other time splits. Still 18-19 is the fastest split. Uh, the first intermediate, but we're waiting for Theo Gegenhart to arrive there and a few other riders. At the end of two laps, having covered a one lap, it is Ashley Cox's lap time for lap number one and 18.30, and that is the third fastest time. Out on the course then with Theo Gagenhart. What a pr an absolutely superb ride he did in the Criterium de Dauphiné. All the fans now at the side of the road enjoying watching Theo Gagenhart. We're getting towards the end of the afternoon here in Northumberland. So everyone's finished work and they've been able to come out now. Theo Gagenhart did so much work for Garrett Thomas in the Dauphiné. I was there and watched him. Uh, it was superb to see such a young rider producing the performances he did in the Dauphiné. I'd love to see him ride in the Tour de France. But it may well be a year too early, but there's no doubt that this rider is supremely talented both in the time trial and in the mountains. He was always the last man standing for Team Sky in the Dauphiné with some uh, more experienced riders being uh, left behind before he was. But Theo Gegenhart looking uh, superb at the moment. Look at this, the speed that he's cruising along at. We'll get to his uh, intermediate time split, I'm sure, uh, pretty soon, and we'll find out how he's going. But Theo looking uh, very, very strong as he sets himself up for this right-hander at the top end of the course. A little bit of picture break-up as he goes through that right-hander now. Of the uh, first of our runners out. In fact, nine runners now out on to lap number three on this lap. And Teo's already seeing people in front of him. I think you can see Griff Lewis just in front. Oh, Griff is going to be uh, pretty surprised at how quick Teo has caught him. Teo just leaning that bike left and right through these turns. Settling himself down into the rhythm as he closes in on the rider in front. The start then of the next rider, the one of the race favourites, Harry Tanfield of Canyon Iceberg. Silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games at time trial as Theo Gagan Hart catches uh, in fact he catches Sam Brand so he's caught the rider two minutes in front of him and he can already see another rider just up the road in front of him as well Theo Gagan Hart now is the fastest rider on the course he's just gone through the first Intermediate time split in 18.14.05, five seconds faster than John Archibald. So Harry Tanfield about to take to the start. Tanfield rolls down the start ramp. But Theo Gagenhart is now the fastest rider on the course. Tanfield and his uh, brother Charlie have been training on this course. They don't live too far away from here. As Charlie said in his race winning interview, they've been here every night of the every day of the week. Confirmation up on the screen then. They're in the purple. Theo Gagenhart, Team Sky, 18 minutes 14.05 through the first time split for Theo. And he is doing exactly what his girlfriend Hannah Barnes did, which is go to the top of the leaderboard. Hannah Barnes winning the women's title earlier on. Right, the start then of one of the riders who will go to the Tour de France. Uh, up on the start ramp, Geraint Thomas, Olympic track champion, winner recently of the Criterium de Dauphiné. And now looking at dual leadership 
of Team Sky for the Tour de France. Garen Thomas choosing to ride the time trial. Remains to be seen whether he will ride the road race at the weekend. But it'll be interesting to see the form that Garen Thomas is in here as we are one week and two days away from the start of the Tour de France in the Vendée. And Thomas will be looking for a morale boost in performance here, although he doesn't really need it after the Dauphiné. He was so, so good in the mountains there. On the course, a number of riders are not going to be finishing their race. Three riders down as coming back early as uh, did not finish. We're going to see who it is. Hopefully not one of our leaders. Garen Thomas about to get his countdown. It could be an early bath for uh, Chris Lawless and Griff Lewis at the moment. They're two of the runners reported to be in the most of this is unconfirmed at the moment, but they are two of the three runners we think are going to be well, we're hearing on the course that Chris Lawless uh, is not going to finish this time trial. Neither is Griff Lewis. It may be that they have uh, crashed out on the course. So Chris Lawless looks like he's out, as is Griff Lewis. So John Archibald still top of that leaderboard at the second intermediate time split, but Theo Gegenhart is the fastest rider on the course. 18-14-05. Remains to be seen what Garant Thomas will do. Only two riders left to take to the race start now. Two more riders left to start. James Gullen and Alex Dowsett. A lot of riders around this circuit now. concentration as these uh, riders go through the camera that was uh, Ken Buckley I think who just went through the camera making his way to the top of the climb as we wait for the start of the penultimate rider this is James Gullen of JLT Condor another very very good time trialist silver medalist in 2016 Bronze medalist in 2017, so ranked number two here in this individual time trial. James Gullen of JLT Condor about to get underway. We'll see whether James Gullen can uh, get another medal. Rolls down the ramp for JLT Condor. John... Uh, James Gallant underway. So, second to last so only one rider left to take to the start. Garen Thomas is out on the course. Theo Gagenhart, 18-14-05 is the fastest split at the first of our intermediates. A little bit of traffic out here. But this is the rider who is flying along this course. 14, 15, 16, Harry Tanfield looking good. Harry Tanfield goes uh, past there, wearing number five. And Tanfield, silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games time trial. Our last rider to go, Alex Dowsett of Team Katusha Alpesin. Not named in the team for the Tour de France. He'll be a little bit disappointed about that. I know that he felt like he wanted to come out of the Giro and ride the Tour as well, but he's very strong after the Giro d'Italia. Alex Dowsett takes a last drink before he gets underway. This rider, five times the winner of the British National Time Trial Championship, if he wins today, it will equal the record of Stuart Dangerfield with six victories. Three times the winner is Bradley Wiggins. But Dowsett about to get underway. Big moment for him. Especially up against Garant Thomas, who we know is on very good form right now. But uh, Dowsett is a time trial specialist. Into the final countdown and now for Alex. 
Dowsett rolls down the ramp then for Katusha Alpersin. So every rider now is out on the course. Dowsett's been here for quite a few days getting ready for this time trial. He will also ride the road race at the weekend. But he has been preparing very carefully out on this uh, course over the last few days. The arrival of Theo Gegenhart as he goes past the camera. Still the fastest rider. And here's the current standings then. So Archibald is now the fastest rider at the second split. Or the third split actually. So he's gone through there 19 seconds faster than Dibbon. As we see the arrival of the rider at the finish, Jonathan Dibbon completes the course. So Jonathan Dibbon goes to the top of the leaderboard. 51 minutes and 0066 for Jonathan Dibbon of Team Sky. The first rider back to the finish line. Jonathan Divin, 51 minutes. The arrival then of John Archibald. Here he comes as he hits the line then. And John Archibald will go top of the leaderboard with a beating of Jonathan Dibbon by 18.8 .8 seconds. Confirmation then there at the top. The two riders who finished, John Archibald of Ribble Cycling. Jonathan Dibbon of Team Sky in second place. 18.8 .8 seconds is the deficit of Jonathan Dibbon to John Archibald. Back out on the course then. And this is the JLT Condor rider who is making his way up to the camera. And just powering on past. Ed Bradbury out on the course for JLT Condor. In fact, that was James Gullen who just went through the camera there for JLT Condor. As we wait here at the finish line and we uh, update then John Archibald is the leader at the finish 50 minutes 41.856 Dibbon second 51.00666 just looking at some of the intermediate time splits Theo Gegenhart is uh, still the rider who is uh, fastest at the first split the arrival of the next rider then reaching the line and setting the time and that uh, was Philip Jones of Transition Race Team third uh, fastest so far of course 54 minutes 37 213 confirmation of the top three there then up at the top Archibald Dibbon and Jones are the current top three riders And we're waiting uh, here at the finish line for the arrival of the riders. Uh, we will pick up out on the course with uh, some more of the riders as they continue with this uh, individual time trial. Dibbon has uh, produced a good ride, but Archibald has gone quicker so far. We've just seen Phil Jones complete the course, but Archibald is top of the leaderboard with that time of 50 minutes 41.856. Just under 50k an hour for this individual so time trial. There was we just even approved the power situation here on the finishing line. 
So a quick update for you. Three year rides home after having completed the course. Won't be long then until we see the arrival of Connor Swift of Madison Genesis. At 51 minutes, Phil Jones, the transition race team of 54 minutes and 37 seconds. Well, thank you to all of you for joining us for this live coverage of the, the men's individual time trial. Leaders in to the finish, lots of runs into their third lap at the moment. A substantial number still completing lap number one. And one or two runs just on the way out to uh, get on to race a circuit. Uh, certainly at the moment waiting for splits for only one or two of the riders as they come up to the first split. The fastest split at the end of lap number one still sits with Teo Gagan Hart. Gagan Hart and 18 of 14 as our next rider comes in to the finish. The arrival at the finish of Connor Swift of Madison Genesis, third fastest time then for Connor Swift. And, you can see he came through just and Connor Swift finishes in 51 minutes, 57, 9, 1, 5. Out on the course then with uh, number nine. This is Dan Bigham of the team of Rebel Cycling. Very, very good time trialist indeed. So we pick up with him as he makes his way around the course. Just looking at some of the times to see whether anyone is getting close to the time of Theo Gagenhart. This rider's gone through just three seconds down on the time of Theo Gagenhart at the intermediate time split. So he's in the ballpark already. The arrival of the next rider. This looks like Jacob Tipper of the Memel CCN Pro Cycling Team. Connor Swift has already finished. Tipper coming in in Jacob Tipper crossing the line then and finishing in fifth fastest time with 54 55 7 4 6. Back out on the course with this rider who we know in Great Britain is a great time trialist. Got so much power in those legs. Bigham. Keeping that nose right down, trying to keep the head tucked in and the shoulders. Really churning that gear over. And lovely to be able to see this rider who quite often we don't get to see in these uh, individual time trials that he performs so well in. Bigham working hard up this next climb, dropping down onto the bars on the side. They're not really built for holding on too much too because uh, they are built to be as aerodynamic as possible and they're more sort of starting bars, so they can be a little bit difficult. But Bigham's still looking strong as he uh, keeps churning that gear over. Got the carbon fibre disc wheel on the deep section uh, bars, uh, deep section a rim on the front, the high risers there to bring the arms up so he can tuck in. Just kicking back a little bit, isn't he? He's got a punchy style. It's not ultra smooth. He rocks and rolls a little, but he's very, very efficient. The arrival then of the next rider to the finish line. Crosses the line then, and that was uh, George Wood of Richardson's Trek Racing Team. So Daniel Bigham is in the ballpark. You can see they're down there at the bottom of the screen, but the top three remain. John Archibald, John Dibbon of Team Sky, and Connor Swift of Madison Genesis. Again, kicking himself back in the saddle, Dan Bigham in a massive gear, isn't he? Look at the way he's churning that gear over. Now he's gone over that rise, he immediately gets into the aero tuck, slicing his way through the air. Super speed. Riding with that power meter on so he knows exactly how efficient he's being and uh, whether his 
performances improving or dropping off. Bigham, one of those riders who will ride to uh, the power meter. The arrival of the next rider from the pace line racing team. This is Thomas Watley. Thomas Watley finishes. Just has to pull something out here. Uh, overall, time has a yo yo backwards and forwards, but at the moment, the impetus. So that rider just finishing. We've lost the timing for a moment. So we'll come back to the timing in a second to update you, but uh, certainly out on the course, it's Theo Gegenhardt and uh, Daniel Bigamu, the two fastest riders at this moment in time through the first of our intermediate time splits. Fastest finishes so far. His time at 50 minutes and at 41 seconds. So we now see the arrival of the next rider from the Zero BC. And that was Paul Elcock. He comes through with a time of 54. 50. Paul Elcock completes the course. Across, just taking a quick check out on the course. A lap at one split. Not up yet for Dowser Gullen at Thomas or Tamfield at the moment. Ryan Perry's time is in though. He's done an 18 minutes 59 second lap number one. So it's looking like. So we're waiting for the arrival of the next riders here at the finish line. Should be Will Bjergfeldt. But Chris Lawless uh, from Team Sky, we do not think is going to complete the course. Reports out on the route that he uh, crashed. But we'll wait to find out whether that is true. We should see him here at the finish any moment. So it's probably the confirmation now that uh, he is not going to complete today's course. Shame to see because he was riding really, really well out on this individual time trial of 39 kilometers. Fastest time out on course for lap number one has been beaten because we now have a fastest first split and it comes from local boy Harry Tamfield. Tamfield of Canyon Iceberg coming through. 17 minutes and 38 seconds. So 17 and 30. Well, we've just heard out on the course that Harry Tanfield has gone through the first intermediate time split with the fastest intermediate split by 26 seconds from Theo Gagenhardt's time. 17 minutes and 38 seconds for Harry Tanfield. So Tanfield is the rider now who's the fastest rider on the course we've already seen his brother take the under 23 title but harry tanfield now who knows this course extremely well is now the fastest rider out on the course and lap number three however still to come back into the finish here we're going to see next of our really fast riders it should be Teo gagan hart we're going to keep an eye on what Ashley Cox does. His first Waiting for the next riders to complete this course. But Harry Tanfield is the rider out on the course who is the fastest at this moment in time. The next rider to complete the course. Hitting the line, Will Bjergfeldt of Team Tour 2000 Callas. So it looks like Chris Lawless will not complete the course uh, because Lawless had already caught Will Bjergfeldt. Out on the course now with uh, the next rider, and this is Ryan Perry. Rides for drag20.com. And Ryan Perry, twice the bronze medalist, 2015 and 2016. But it, he's looking around. I don't know whether he thinks Harry Tanfield is going to catch him, but he wouldn't catch him that quickly. But Tanfield, without a doubt, is absolutely flying on this course right now. So we're just hearing now that Geraint Thomas has gone fastest through the first intermediate time split. So he has eclipsed the time of Harry Tanfield. So it's a real race on now. Geraint Thomas, the winner of the Criterium de Dauphiné, has uh, gone quicker. Winner of Paris-Nice, of course. Thomas looking for a big performance in the Tour de France. The arrival then at the finish line of Andrew Turner of Team KTM UK. 
We'll bring you the updated results as soon as we can. We've just uh, lost them for a moment. But out on the course, this rider, Ryan Perry, always produces a great time trial in the National Time Trial Championship. Can he do the same today? He's got a big ask up against the likes of Garen Thomas, Alex Dowsett, Harry Tanfield, Tanfield silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games. This is the arrival of the next rider at the line, uh, Ross Fawcett of Pedal Power Cycles. A respectable time, but uh, already four minutes slower than John Archibald. And the arrival of the next rider to the finish as he completes the course today. That's number 33, that's Ken Buckley of the Morvello. So, just to update for you out on the course, the race situation here we are back with uh, the current standings uh, as far as the finish line is concerned. But the update for you is that the fastest rider so far at the first time split is Garrett Thomas with 17 minutes 25 seconds. Harry Tanfield second, 17 minutes 38. And third place, Teo Gagan Hart with a time of 18 minutes and 14 seconds. has just gone through the time chase. And James Gullen can't match that time. He's on an 18 minute 10 second. The arrival then of the next rider at the finish, that's uh, rider number 30, David Hewitt of the Ribble Cycling Team. And another rider crosses the line from the uh, Flamme Rouge team, Ashley Cox. Ashley Cox with a great performance, third fastest so far, time of 51 minutes 43.994. And we're back out on the course now with Ryan Perry of Drag 2-0. Race situation then. Garrett Thomas is the fastest rider through the first split, 17.25. Harry Tanfield second. James Gullen now third for JLT Condor in a time of 18.10. And then Theo Gagenhart in 18.14. Concentrated on this right. We wait for the arrival of the next rider to the line as he hits the line now, riding for the North Overs VT, Dean Robson. So out on the course now, Connor Swift uh, still fourth fastest. Out on the course then, we are hearing that uh, Alex Dowsett has reached the first intermediate time split with a time of 17 minutes and 45 seconds. 17.45 for Alex Dowsett. So, the current standings then out on the course at the first split. Harry Tanfield second to Garrett Thomas. Thomas at 17.25. Tanfield at 17.38. Followed by Alex Dowsett at 17.45, James Gullen at 18.10 and Theo Gagenhart at 18.14. That's the current standings out on the course. The results here at the finish line then. Archibald is still the leader. Dibbon in second place. Ashley Cox in third place. But to give you some perspective... Garrett Thomas is almost one minute faster at the first intermediate time split than the current leader, John Archibald. The arrival of the next rider coming up to the line, riding for the Cardiff Ajax, Ian Smallwood. Good performance for him, fifth place for Ewan Smallwood. And there we are, confirmation then. Fifth fastest time for Ewan Smallwood of Cardiff Ajax. And still the top three, Archibald, Dibbon and Cox. Although I think that's going to change quite considerably before the end of today's race. Garen Thomas almost one minute faster than John Archibald to the first intermediate time split. Our leader, 
John Archibald, 19 seconds clear of second place John Dibbon, behind of some 43 seconds behind. Dibbon still has the fastest time to the third split, but Archibald came back at him and uh, ended up beating him at the finish line. Thanks to all of you. Thanks for all the comments on Facebook. Yeah, it's a very complicated leaderboard. <laughs> it takes a little bit of interpretation, but hopefully we will manage to talk you through it. And then a further seven seconds behind Tanfield, Alex Dowsett, the third fastest. Harry Tanfield looking here at trying to clinch a medal. He's seven seconds ahead of Alex Dowsett. And at the moment of the riders out and completing the two laps, Theo Gagan Hart, the fastest of those. So we wait now for the next riders out on the course and the riders to complete the course. We've still got quite a few riders out on this uh, time trial going through this really fast corner. Before we find out they're going to be back with us. First of those riders will be Gagan Hart back here in to the finish. That's fastest. Well, thank you to all of you who have joined us on Facebook. Don't forget that on Sunday we will have a live coverage of the men's race and as live coverage of the women's race here on Facebook if that's where you're going to watch we're also live on ITV4 and British Eurosport with that program as well Archibald leads then at the finish line 50 minutes 41 Ian Smallwood with a great performance there in fifth place for Cardiff Ajax Ashley Cox for Flam Rouge in third place in some uh, very good company right now. So we've had a total of 19 riders complete today's course. Daniel Bigham should be reaching the second split soon. Bigham, we know, was only three seconds outside the time of Theo Gagan Hart. So it remains to be seen how he does perform when he gets back here to the finish line the arrival of the next riders here at the line coming in then for the team of Aberdeen wheelers Jamie Davidson hits the line and with him also was uh, Ryan Morley of the Royal Air Force 21 riders have completed the course so Ryan Morley 13th place for the Royal Air Force Jamie Davidson Ninth place for the Aberdeen Wheelers Cycling Club. 54 minutes 30.699. The time of the Scottish rider there for Aberdeen Wheelers Cycling Club. Back out on the course now as we pick up with Harry Tanfield. Tanfield needs to find a little bit more speed. He's 13 seconds behind the intermediate split of Garrett Thomas. But Tanfield so far, rocking and rolling a little bit, but he does have that sort of style when he's pushing hard. Looking very, very good indeed. Tanfield has had such a good season. Silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games. The fans all out at the side of the road cheering on these uh, time trialists. Tanfield can see a rider in front of him. And if that is someone like Ryan Perry, then this is going to be a tremendous ride by Harry Tanfield because Ryan Perry is a double bronze medalist in these national championships. Tanfield just having a micro rest, just letting the legs spin out a little bit now as he starts to go downhill. Then he'll put the pressure on and start to pick up the watts. Tanfield absolutely flat out. He just doesn't have any more uh, speed to give. He's right in that aero tuck. It's extremely fast on this section of the course. Just to let you know, if you've just joined us now, so the riders ride 3.2 kilometres out. I know some of you like Marco Ferry and... Uh, a few others asking how long is the course 3.2 kilometers out then three laps of 11.1 kilometers and then 3.2 kilometers back into the finish line to complete this uh, race so far tanfield goes into that right hander so quick 
Sorry about that little bit of picture break up through that right hander as we go under the trees. But Tanfield is looking superbly fast right now. Catches the rider in front of him. Tanfield just going to go straight past. Who is that that he's caught? Oh, it's a rider who is on their uh, next lap, so it isn't someone like uh, Ryan Perry. That would have been a big surprise. So he catches Michael Cumming of uh, Madison Genesis. Tanfield leaning the bike left-hander through that corner. Tanfield's been training on this course all the time. Tanfield just disappearing up the road so fast. The arrival of the next riders here at the finish line. And here is the arrival of Andrew Nichols. And just behind him, the arrival of Theo Gagenhart finishes. Theo Gagenhart has completed the course. Well, let's take a look at the time. Theo Gagenhart, second fastest time for Theo. 18 seconds down on John Archibald. 51.00297 for Theo Gagenhart of Team Sky. Right, looks like we're picking up on the bike of Alex Dowsett. No, it's Tanfield. So Tanfield we're still with out on the course. Tanfield working so hard right now. So the current standings then, Archibald still leads. That's a tremendous performance by Archibald over the last phases of this individual time trial. Theo Gegenhardt in second place, and he did have the fastest split by a considerable margin. In fact, at one point, he was 15 seconds faster than John Archibald. So the race situation now, we are starting to get the second intermediate time splits and Tanfield has just gone through that in a time of 31 minutes, 46 seconds. Archibald is the leader at the finish, 50-41-8-5-6. Out on the course then, Tanfield, 31-46. We've just heard that Geraint Thomas has just gone through the second intermediate time split with a time of 31 minutes and 16 seconds. 30 seconds faster than the time of uh, Harry Tanfield. The arrival there of rider 17, Ben Hetherington of Memel CCN Pro Cycling. So Geraint Thomas is the fastest rider on the course right now but what is going to happen with uh, Alex Dowsett we're waiting for his time split which will come up shortly so right now 31 minutes 16 for Garrett Thomas 31 46 for Harry Tanfield at the second of the intermediate time splits Thanks very much to all of you for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for all your comments on uh, Facebook. Very much appreciated. Hugh Spacey, who's the best Tanfield? Well, that's a matter of uh, opinion right now. There's no doubt Harry Tanfield is superbly fast, but Charlie's picking up lots and lots of uh, titles. Archibald still leads 50 41 856. Gagenhart second for Team Sky. Dibbon third for Team Sky 51 0 0. They're split by 0.369 of a second between Gagenhart and Dibbon. Then we've got Ashley Cox, Connor Swift, Ben Hetherington. Great performance by Hetherington in sixth place for the Memel CCN Pro Cycling Team. Wonderful to see some of the amateur riders mixing in here with the top pros and beating some of them as well. The arrival at the finish line of the Madison Genesis rider, Michael Cumming. So Cumming crosses the line. There he is. 
And just behind him, finishing is Sam Brand. And confirmation of uh, Michael Cumming of Madison Genesis. Seventh place for him. Sam Brand down in 23rd. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that time trial. Right, our first chance to join up with Geraint Thomas out on the course. This is the rider who's setting the tempo as we go back out here to the finish of Rupert Graham of Spirit Tafosi. He completes the course. Rupert Graham, a great performance by him. Seventh place for Spirit Tafosi. But here is Geraint Thomas. Thomas metronomic with that pedalling style. So, so quick. Getting out into that uh, section of the course where we're getting a little bit of picture break up, but we'll pick up with him again in a moment. Here he is, Garrett Thomas, going slightly uphill now. Looking good. 30 seconds faster than uh, Harry Tanfield at this moment in time. Thomas, surprisingly, on that skin suit, a little bit of uh, ribbing around where he's pinned his number, which is unusual, normally absolutely uh, sleek. Thomas kicking himself back in the saddle all the time. We noticed in the Dauphin he was sitting much further forward on the saddle. But Thomas right on top of the gear right now, looking very, very good. Coming back then to the finish line and the arrival of the next rider as he reaches the line and that was the ribble rider Simon Wilson it won't be long until we see the arrival of Dan Bigham of ribble cycling so Simon Wilson eighth fastest time for ribble cycling 52.30.320 Garen Thomas 31.16 through the second split Tanfield 31.46. We're just waiting for the arrival of Alex Dowsett to that point. Also James Gullen. But Dowsett. He's been training at altitude. Dowsett training at altitude at Mount Tidy, ready for the Tour de France. We're hearing on Radio Tour then that Alex Dowsett's gone through the third split, 32-0-3 for Alex Dowsett. So at the moment, the two fastest riders on the course, Garrett Thomas and uh, Harry Tanfield. Garrett Thomas is absolutely flying along this course. Look at him go. Alex Dowsett is not producing a winning performance right now Tanfield is looking at the silver medal if this continues but we've got a long long way to go Garrett Thomas keeping those pedals spinning over looking very strong indeed in a huge gear in the mountains in the Dauphin A he was riding mammoth gears at the top of the mountains when he was attacking So the situation at the finish is still John Archibald, the leader, then Theo Gagenhart, then Jonathan Dibben, behind him Ashley Cox, then Connor Swift, then Ben Hetherington, Rupert Graham in seventh place, Simon Wilson in eighth, Michael Cumming in ninth, and Ewan Smallwood in tenth place. Up against these riders, Garrett Thomas then not far from the run-in to the finish line. Thomas really working hard up this section, isn't he? Look at this taking superb power to keep these pedals turning over Thomas may not ride the road race at the weekend but at this moment in time Garrett Thomas is taking 47 seconds out of Alex Dowsett Dowsett the five times winner of this national title Thomas now taking a little break as he takes a, f a drink, it's very, very warm out here. And Thomas now will put himself into this right-hander. The tarmac is melting out here, it's so hot. And Thomas now accelerating hard. 
looking good as he gets back into the aero tuck a little rest no he's going to sprint a little bit more not ready to get into the aero tuck yet now he does Garen Thomas you've got to feel in the Tour de France with them with the cobbles on uh, the early stages that he really could put himself into a very strong position for Team Sky for the Tour de France it's going to be very interesting to see but the characteristics of him as a rider on the cobbles compared to Chris Froome the other leader of Team Sky could play very well into Geraint Thomas's hands so we leave Thomas now out on the course can he now produce the fastest time Thomas goes disappearing over that rise then the current situation for those of you watching or just tuning in now John Archibald leads for Ribble Cycling Teo Gegenhardt second for Team Sky Jonathan Dibbon third for Team Sky and look at some of the amateur riders who are up there who've beaten some very very big names and Ashley Cox Flam Rouge Connor Swift and Madison Genesis there in fifth Ben Hetherington Rupert Graham of Spirit Tafosi, Simon Wilson of Ribble Cycling not long now though until we see the arrival of the likes of Dan Bigham of Ribble Cycling who we would expect to see produce a top time in this time trial Looks like Dan Bigham is producing a good ride out on this course at the moment. So we'll see whether Dan Bigham does produce uh, one of the top 10 positions. He really should do. He is renowned as a very fast time trialist. So we wait to find whether that is uh, possible. Back here at the finish line then with... Uh, the arrival of the next riders. Thank you to all of you who have joined us this afternoon. The next rider coming up to the finish. And it looks like it is the arrival of the JLT Condor rider, Edmund Bradbury. And just behind him, coming into the finish, Daniel Bigham of Ribble Cycling. Let's see what the time is of uh, Dan Bigham and Ed Bradbury. But Bigham has produced a very good performance here. Bigham goes into fourth place, 51-24-8-0-8 for Dan Bigham. Bradbury out of the top places there, but Dan Bigham is the rider now who is in fourth place. Ed Bradbury down in 12th. We're waiting then for the arrival of uh, Ryan Perry, twice the bronze medalist. Loads of you watching on Facebook now, so thank you to all of you who have tuned in. Don't forget we will have more coverage on Sunday of the Road Race Championships. The time to beat of John Archibald has stood for so long now. 50 minutes, 41.856. As we look here at the arrival of the next rider to the line. Hits the line then. And that is uh, number 11, Richard Taylor of Harry Middleton Cycling Club. We just wait for the turn to... Harry Middleton, 27th place in that time trial. So still the top three remain. Archibald, Gagenhart and Dibbon. Are they going to stay there or are we going to see three different riders in those top three places at the end of today's race? Not many riders left to finish this course. Only Ryan Perry, Harry Tanfield, Garrett Thomas, James Gullen and Alex Dowsett are left out on the course right now. Alex Dowsett was looking for his sixth victory. It would have equaled the time of uh, 
those uh, times of Stuart Dangerfield who won six titles. Here we are with the leaderboard. John Archibald still leads. Bigham uh, moved into fourth place there with 51-24-8-0-8. Harry Tanfield looking to get himself back here to the finish line to go top of the leaderboard if he can. He's at the end of the third lap now seconds and that's a phenomenal time to come through so at the moment he has five just under four so on sunday tune in at 3 p.m uk time we'll show highlights of the women's road race championships and the running live of the men's championship as well so do join us online 1500 on sunday uk time here on facebook or itv4 or Eurosport. Out on the course now with Alex Dowsett, the final rider to start, but he's having a hard time here against Geraint Thomas. Thomas not far from the finish line, neither is Harry Tanfield. We'll make sure we bring you them across the line. But Dowsett now in a race against time, but Dowsett's tactics are normally to ride steady, very, very steady at the beginning of a time trial, and then pick things up on the run in to the finish. The arrival of the next rider making his way to the finish line. This is Ryan Perry of Drag 2-0. Perry now hits the line, twice the bronze medalist. Let's see what his time is. And 13th place for Ryan Perry. Not on top form today. 53-30.899. Dowsett then. Dowsett heading towards the completion of this last lap. Can he find a little bit more speed? Dowsett is a master at time trialling. Breaker of the world hour record, of course, on the track on a day that he felt he could have gone even quicker. He definitely says he's going to go to try and break uh, Bradley Wiggins' uh, hour record at some point. But we know that Garen Thomas is flying. 31-16 through the split. He was uh, 47 seconds faster than Alex Dowsett to that point. Dowsett kind of kicking himself back a little bit on the saddle. Concentrating hard. Going to the right-hand side of the road. He's been out and looked at this course over and over again. Dowsett, one of those riders who just loves time trialling. He's... Uh, one of the riders who will turn up at a Club 10 event in Great Britain on a Tuesday or Wednesday evening, ride against everyone, say hello, and uh, then go home and continue with his training during the week. He is uh, very, very happy to continue riding and racing in Essex, even as a pro rider for Katusha Alpazin. A perfect line through that corner by Dowsett. Now the next left-hander, very fast indeed. Not long until we see Harry Tanfield arrive. The time to beat, 50 minutes, 41.856. The race for time here for Harry Tanfield of Canyon Iceberg. Tanfield, the silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games. What is the time going to be? Tanfield now hits the line uh, and goes top of the leaderboard. What a ride by Harry Tanfield. The first rider underneath 50 minutes. Harry Tanfield, 49 minutes, 31.944. Tanfield faster by one minute and nine seconds on John Archibald. Dowsett being urged on by all the fans here at the side of the road. Tanfield now, the time to beat, 49-31-944. Geraint Thomas should be the next rider to finish. Underneath 50 minutes for Harry Tanfield. Dowsett takes another drink, concentrating on the matter in hand. The men's time trial, 39.9 kilometres. A rolling technical course. Tanfield's completed it in 49.31.
douse it, still looking quick. The arrival now of Geraint Thomas of Team Sky. Thomas now making his way towards the finish. This rider getting ready for the Tour de France. Geraint Thomas blasts across the line. The top time, look at the time. 48 minutes 54.784 he beats Harry Tanfield by 37.1 seconds Geraint Thomas is top of the leaderboard in this individual time trial so the top three riders Geraint Thomas Team Sky Harry Tanfield Canyon Iceberg John Archibald of Ribble Cycling what a performance by Geraint Thomas we know he's on superb form Two more riders to finish. James Gullen of JLT Condor and uh, this man Alex Dowsett in a race against time to try and uh, take this victory. Alex Dowsett needs a little bit more speed as he goes through that. Look at the way he's going through these corners. He's giving it everything. Stage winner in the Giro d'Italia in the individual time trial. Breaker of the world hour record. Alex Dowsett dreaming of five victories becoming six. And equaling the record of Stuart Dangerfield. Thomas not far from the finish line now. Only two riders left to go. James Gullen of JLT Condor, silver medalist in 16, bronze medalist in 2017. Dowsett now is on the running back to the finish. Well, Garen Thomas using this time trial, of course, as preparation for the Tour de France. There's an early time trial. For the team time trial so Thomas will look to uh, now just keep the form for the next week there's no doubt whatsoever that Garen Thomas is in the form of his life 48 54 784 37 seconds faster than the silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games as Dowsett leans that bike over and now he's giving this as much as he possibly can he's taking a few risks so many of you online thank you very much for joining us this afternoon it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you this individual time trial earlier on today we saw hannah barnes win the women's race for canyon shram her sister alice barnes was in the silver medal position we saw charlie tanfield win the under 23 men's event and now it's a race against time for alex dowsett look at the gear he's in as he kicks it over member of that team that's got so many good time trialists tony martin also his teammate and roommate at the giro d'italia douse it so powerful just giving this full beans now as he makes his way towards the conclusion of this time trial 39.3 kilometers of racing garen thomas waiting anxiously at the finish line we haven't seen James Gullen arrive, but Dowsett, now he knows this way of squeezing the juice out of an orange. He's giving this everything he can. He's going to finish absolutely empty. Look at the way he's going now. He will know that his time split is not good compared to Garrett Thomas. Jeff Smith. That chain rings like a black pizza, 58 he's on. And I'm not, he, I tell you, he rode a 58 tooth chain ring in the Giro d'Italia final time trial. Here he goes. Can he come back at Geraint Thomas? He is a master of timing. James Garland then making his way towards the finish for JLT Condor. He crosses the line. James Gullen, fourth fastest, so at this moment it's not going to be a medal. This time for James Gullen. There's confirmation of the top three. What a performance by John Archibald, you must say. Third fastest still. And now Alex Dowsett is into the grounds of the finishing area, Kirkley Hall. Alex Dowsett lifting it to try and beat the time of Geraint Thomas, 48-54-784. It's such a fast time. As we now wait for the arrival of Alex Dowsett at the finish line. Here he is, back with the motorbike. Alex Dowsett, the final rider to start. He wears number two because Steve Cummings didn't start. 
Garen Thomas's time, 48 54 784. Dowsett hits the line now with the third fastest time, 49 48 805. Garen Thomas is the winner of this individual time trial. There's confirmation then of the result. Garen Thomas wins 48 54 784. Harry Tanfield takes the silver for Canyon Iceberg. Alex Dowsett, Team Katusha Alperson takes the bronze. And a disappointed John Archibald having sat in those hot seats for the entire day. Fourth fastest. The rest of the top ten then. James Gullen, JLT Condor. Teo Gagenhart in sixth place for Team Sky. Jonathan Dibbon in seventh place. Then Daniel Bigham of Ribble Cycling. Great performance by Ashley Cox of Flam Rouge in ninth. And Connor Swift of Madison Genesis in tenth place today. But the title goes to Garrett Thomas. Harry Tanfield takes the silver. Alex Dowsett takes the bronze medal. Team Sky then take the national time trial title with uh, Garrett Thomas, Harry Tanfield in second place. We'll bring you the podium presentation in just a few minutes, but there's no doubt that uh, Garrett Thomas is showing us that he's on tremendous form. We'll bring you the podium, we'll bring you an interview with uh, Garrett Thomas, so don't go away. If you'd like to hold on, we will make sure that... Uh, you hear from Garrett Thomas his thoughts on the time trial and his thoughts, of course, on the Tour de France, which is just now one week and two days away from the start of him possibly being uh, the joint leader of Team Sky with Chris Froome. That's what he said at the Dauphiné. And he kind of set his stall out. That's what he wishes for. Well, Garrett Thomas, 37 seconds faster than the second place rider. We knew he was going well out on the course, but as a winning margin, that is pretty substantial. And taking, what was that, 47, 53 seconds out of a rider like Alex Dowsett, that is uh, absolutely tremendous performance by Garrett Thomas on today's race. Garen Thomas then will be on the podium in just a few moments with Harry Tanfield and Alex Dowsett and we will make sure that we get a word with Alex Dowsett today and uh, Garen Thomas of course with that title here from him about the Tour de France 48 minutes 54 is a very very fast time trial indeed over that distance Stay with us in a few moments. We'll bring you the podium presentation.
just a few moments then until we bring you the podium presentation as Garen Thomas wins the National Time Trial Championship of Great Britain. So we'll wear that jersey in the Tour de France starting in just over one week's time. Garen Thomas making his way to the podium now, ready for the presentation, the winner of the individual time trial. So Garen Thomas now will be presented with that jersey that he will wear in the Tour de France in uh, one week's time. Alex Dowsett will have to come back and fight to equal the record of Stuart Dangerfield. But Harry Tanfield, all that promise is uh, certainly being shown here. What a performance by him. His brother took the under-23 title. He takes silver behind Garen Thomas and beats one of the fastest time trialers in the world, Alex Dowsett, as well, into the bargain. A few moments then till the presentation. So we're just getting ready now for the podium presentation. Oh, when you look through that uh, top 10, Theo Gegenhart, Jonathan Divin of Team Sky and Garrett Thomas, great performances by them, but uh, performance of Ashley Cox there in ninth, very, very impressive indeed. And amateur riders like 
Daniel Bigham, great to see him there in the top eight as well. A few moments then, let's hear from the winner, Garen Thomas, in today's time trial. Here he is. Geraint, a tremendous performance. How much confidence does that give you 10 days out from the tour? Yeah, it's great. It's, uh, obviously, winning Dauphiné was a big boost. And, um, yeah, I've done a good bit of training now since. And to come here and win the Nationals for the first time is really uh, encouraging. Yeah, because I really get to, well, race in the UK. And uh, just to do a one-off TT like that is uh, rare as well. So, yeah, really happy. And there was strong competition as well, not least from, from Team Sky and, of course, Dowsett, Tanfield. How confident were you coming in that this was possible? Yeah, I was confident, but I didn't really know what to expect. Like I say, I really do just a one-off TT. It's always part of a stage race when you've got tired legs and things. And, uh, and yeah, obviously, Tanfield's been riding really well this year. I've obviously been watching him and uh, obviously Dowsett is what he does. And uh, obviously, like you say, the Sky Boys as well. So And just TT in the UK is a strong discipline anyway. So... Yeah, to come and win is uh, super nice. And what will it mean to you to wear that British TT skin suit jersey in, in months to come? Oh, it's going to be great, especially in the tour, to wear that. Obviously, I won the road race, well, a few years ago now, back in 2010. So, uh, yeah, to get add the TT to it is uh, really nice. Congratulations today. We'll let you get to the podium. Thank you. Cheers. Garen Thomas, uh, he'll be very proud to wear that British Champions uh, jersey on the podium. And uh, we look forward to see him at the start of the Tour de France and then in the time trials uh, flying the flag. Always great to have the British Champions jersey in the Tour de France. We'll wait for the podium. We've heard from Garen Thomas and now... Uh, we wait to see the podium of Thomas Tanfield and Alex Dowsett. Well, to all of you tuned in today, thank you very much. Uh, we will wait for the podium presentation before we finish this afternoon. Well, let's uh, hear now for the rider who finished in second place. Harry Tanfield is going to join us in just a moment. And actually, we're going to wait and go to the podium and uh, see Alex Dowsett, Harry Tanfield and Geraint Thomas on the podium. So we're waiting for the podium presentation. A few uh, conversations going on with P. Harrison, the promoter of these national championships. He's done loads of work to bring the national championships here to Northumberland. And you don't always get to see the 
race promoter so it's nice to see him here on the podium chatting away but in a few moments we bring you the presentation of today's race We're ready now for the podium presentation of today's men's individual time trial. Alex Dowsett, the bronze medalist, fourth Katusha Alpersin. In the second place, taking away the silver medal, Harry Tanfield of Canyon Iceberg. Harry Tanfield, the silver medalist. Garen Thomas is the national champion. Alex Dowsett looking really disappointed on the right hand side of the podium. He really wanted to bring home the national title again. Garen Thomas doesn't ride, as he said, many time trials in the UK. He doesn't race in the UK very often anymore. But he has come back and he has produced the medal winning performance. He pulls on the British champion's jersey. Alex Dowsett finding it quite difficult to be on the podium here. Tried everything he could. Harry Tanfield very proud of that place. A very thoughtful Alex Dowsett on the podium. He has given that absolutely everything today, but he is... Uh, very disappointed there in the bronze medal position. It means everything for him to win this title. Garen Thomas, though, will wear this jersey in the Tour de France. Garen Thomas sprays the bubbles, and that's our medal winners of today's time trial. Well, these riders are on the podium, so... struggle with my head I guess during that so and when you know you've got Garrett as opposition it's really um, it's difficult you know time trial you, you get everything out and a bit um, I didn't feel like I fully got my ass into gear onto the until the third lap so uh, yeah got to go back have a reset come back next year you've got five titles so far you've got the Uh, that's my next race, I think. 
Well, that'll be a big target, and I'm sure everybody here will be cheering you on. Put your hands together for your bronze medalist, Alex Dursley. <laughs> so we talked to his brother earlier. Let's uh, talk to Harry now. Southern medal, Harry. Uh, he had a heavy time coming in and around some of those corners. It was a bit sort of all right on the edge bike handling going on. Um, yeah, I think it was a few times, but probably around one piece. So you got around it, you got around it one piece. Quite how close to the edge did you come? Did you see any of the green ring? Um, yeah, one time. One of the one of the nice green rides, uh, pretty much near the second thing. I hit one of the walls, kind of hit one of the walls and jumped it mid-corner and then ended up sort of doing an end on the corner with the brick on and drifting about and stuff in the grass. And yeah, I, I sort of chilled a bit off that. So. <laughs> You do want to bet, I'm not surprised after that. Sounds like a very interesting race, a bit scarier than the right down at Alden Towers. So, got a silver medal this time round. Are we going to see you next year going to try and take that much of a chance to Jersey? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's certainly um, a target. I mean, I'm in Rio from last year, I was fifth, so it's nice to you know, have a few lines at this point. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with what I've got. Good stuff. Big round of applause at the floor. Harry Trapper and Michelle Meadows. Which is this is you. Thanks for your mate. Cheers, thanks, uh, yeah, so, yeah, super happy. Obviously, uh, these boys are, are pretty handy time trialists, you know, in their own right, so I know it's going to be a tough race, but, um, yeah, the form is pretty good, so super happy. And I think the first time I saw you on the stage, that was 2010, with Freeman Wiggins on the stage. I think it was your bronze medal right back in 2010, eight years ago. Time flies. Now you've got the collection, all of the colours and the National Champs jersey. Are we going to see you back next year for more? Hopefully. Uh, hopefully it's a bit closer to home next year. I don't know where it's going to be. But, uh, no, it's nice here. It's <laughs> <laughs> don't come up safe then. You've got to get out of the bed thing again. No, I'll definitely come back with the weather's like this again. But, um, no, yeah, it was, it was a tough course. You know, you are sort of always on the pedals and it wasn't straightforward. So. It was good to do because I really get a chance to do like a one-off TT like that. It's always normally in a stage race. So, um, yeah, good day. You say it's normally in the stage race. We saw you in the Giro's looking good and, and reports from the course saying that, that you were flying there. We've seen you racing in the Tour. What's next? Where are we going to see you in action? Where can we see you doing the business next time around? Uh, hopefully in the Tour, if they slap me. Um, cool, when did you find out? Uh, I don't know, I think uh, next few days, but um, no, yeah, it'll all be on my lobby there for sure, so um, it'll be nice to wear this jersey in the tour and uh, yeah, looking forward to a big few weeks. Well, we wish you well, good luck, lots to recover in, plenty of rest. A big hand for your national champion, Garrett Thomas wins the national title. And we've had the thoughts of him uh, here on the stage. Thank you to all of you for watching. Don't forget, we'll bring you live coverage of the men's uh, road race and as live highlights as well of the women's race on Sunday here on Facebook at 1500 UK time. From all of us who've brought you the live stream today, thanks for watching and bye for now.